is what he said. He said, I was told about this coming into the division, that get ready, all the slight decisions, all the easy decisions will go against you. Maybe the thought process and the outlook is that they, Chef United, won't be long in this division, and I might be refereeing the other team next year, so I don't want to upset too many people. I'm not just going to go under the radar and not say anything. I've been to see the referee and I've told him that. One of his assistants was eating a sandwich at the time, <laughs> which I thought was a complete lack of respect. Hopefully he enjoyed his sandwich <laughs> while he was talking to a Premier League manager. Is this a big deal, Nadem? Sandwich or not? I think, I think if you want to know what stress looks like, I think it's those words from, uh, from Chris Wilder. He's clearly in a position where all these little things feel like there's building up against you. But I think most managers and fan bases think the same way. Everyone thinks that they're, getting, they're not getting enough of the little decisions. And in that particular challenge itself, I think it's unfortunate because I don't know what Mateta like, could have or should have done. I think there is a collision. I think it's right to give a foul. But I don't know how big we can go from there. I don't think he's tried to elbow him or anything like that. So I don't, I don't really see it from that standpoint. But I think to come out and say that, is going to be asked a lot of questions about it. He won't be able to separate himself from it. And realistically, it's quite conspiratorial. And I wouldn't necessarily be buying into any of that, except for maybe the sandwich bit. Because realistically, like, was the sandwich worthy of, like, you know, ignoring this manager? But then he's big enough to say, hey, you, stop eating your sandwich. I'm talking to you. So clearly he's held on to that for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it was a good sandwich. I don't know. Maybe it was. Chris Wilder was not happy about the sandwich. Frank, did you nah, it was, an, it, it, it was in English. It, it was a, it was an English sandwich. Hang on, hang on. We did, if we do one thing right, it's sandwiches, Frank. I will not have that said. If we do one thing right, we're not bad with sandwiches. <laughs> no, but oh yeah, okay, all right. Let, let's say that. But I give you that one. But uh, but to coming back to the discussion, I think I, I'm with Nadam. I think it's very sad for the goalkeeper if he's injured, but we can see the players trying, to, even trying to, Mateta trying to avoid the goalkeeper. He doesn't try to, to knock him down. We can see that he, he, he cannot move except from a little bit from the side, which is, don't forget he's running, he has, he's on pace, and uh, it's hard for him to move from his pace so, and from his direction. So there is nothing to say about the decision. It's a free kick, no problem. He hurt, he, he touched the, the, the goalkeeper. But it's not. It's, he didn't do it consciously. He didn't. He didn't do it on purpose, willing to uh, to uh, to injure the the goalkeeper, and he couldn't avoid the goalkeeper. So for me, it's a fair decision from the the referee, and we need him also avoid biting the sandwich at the same time. <laughs> But just talking a little bit deeper here about Wilder, Nadem, because he did go on to say this was just one decision of many that he's been noticing lately when it comes to his side. Yeah. Uh, in regards to this, I'll hold my hands up and say I have not watched every minute of Sheffield United this season. I think I'm probably <laughs> one of many people like that. So I don't necessarily put myself in a position where I can say he's objectively wrong. But clearly, it's affecting him, it's stressing him out, he thinks he's not getting his rub of the green. But the fact that it's a different referee pretty much every single week would suggest that it's probably not a conspiracy against them. But maybe in time, you'll start to believe it goes the right way. But what fan <laughs> or manager has ever come out and said, I think we're getting a lot of really good decisions at the minute dropping our way, and we hope it lasts forever. You know, it's not something that we're going to expect to see, is it? Big deal or a small deal? Or a <laughs> no it, deal? It, it's, it's a no deal. Because every manager, it doesn't matter whether you're at the bottom or the top, mid-table, every manager thinks that the referee has something against them. And, and in fact, we, we just had a discussion about Arsenal. Wasn't it earlier this season where Miguel Arteta in the post-game press conference was calling it embarrassing and this and that and the other? So at the top is happening, at the bottom is happening, it happens in the middle as well. It happens in every league across the world. This is a no deal. Do you know what else is happening right but the, now? The sandwich may have been a big deal. It could have been. It depends what the, it depends yeah. what the filling was. I, I, at this point, I'm curious as to... Uh, like, me too. I wouldn't mind what, finding that what out. What kind of sandwich it was. Give us a shout. Uh, what was brilliant? Well, I don't know. It depends on how you viewed it. I spoke to you about it yesterday. Okay. It was what we saw between Neil Mope and James ah. Madison. That little back and forth and the dart mm -hmm. celebration in yeah. the Spurs-Brentford game where Madison said he hasn't scored enough goals to have his own celebration. Uh -huh. He's stealing his celebration there. And uh, Neil replied, with more goals and less relegations in my career than James oh. Madison. Oh. Did you like this or not, Nadem? Yeah, I did like it, to be honest. I think the uh, when, when Mope did the dart celebration, I thought, oh, that's funny, as long as they win. 
So clearly from that point, maybe it most motivated Madison a little bit more. Yeah, a little flashback to your days in the Premier League, Frank? Uh, I don't remember. I think it's very childish. Uh, you know, everybody <laughs> has the right to have a to have a celebration, and if you are upset about it and getting a little bit touchy, it's your own problem. I don't understand why Madison is trying to to find. At the end of the day, he, he won the game, so don't make it big. Uh, Mope is very happy to play in the Premier League. He's a great guy. Uh, Madison seems to be a good guy as well. I think they should go for a coffee or a beautiful English sandwich and talk to each dance. other and they could be friends. So, it, for me, it, it's... Yeah, yeah, and play darts. Yeah, why, why don't you, they do that? No, but really, really, players have to grow, have to grow a little bit. You know, it's really childish for me. Oh, really childish. Well, look, I he's... thought it was funny. Yeah, so did Nadim. That just shows who the childish ones are on the panel tonight. Yes. There will be more childish uh, antics. Frank is far more mature than us, Definitely yes. Definitely, on yes. extra time. Also older, but you know. <laughs>